Now I'd like to quickly demonstrate how easy it is to build your environments in CodeOcean. So I'm going to go ahead, on the left-hand side here, we're seeing our environment UI, and on the right-hand side, we're seeing our Docker file. So let's go ahead and add an R package. We'll just add Plotly to this. I'm gonna click the checkbox, and just like that, my Docker file has automatically updated to include the Plotly package. So uh, what we're seeing is that there is no need to struggle with Docker. There's no need to learn Docker syntax. You simply uh, put in your package name, package version number into this nice UI, and the platform does it all for you. And if I bring up my timeline again, we can see that it is now telling me, of course, that I have one uncommitted change in my Docker file. That is, of course, the uh, Plotly package that I added. Again, we can commit changes in the UI, or I'm gonna go ahead and discard all changes. And just like that, my Docker file has reverted. Plotly is no longer in my environment. So now I think we are ready to run some computation. So let's start by selecting our computing resources. So right here on the same environment UI, we have our compute resource manager. Uh, so we can choose the number of resources from a standard flex machine, or we can select a dedicated machine from a full list of available uh, Amazon EC2 instances that are available to use. 